welcome back to Black American Lineage. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your comments. And thank you for your thumbs up. Thank you for all you do to support this channel because it's really getting hot in here, y'all. I really appreciate your support. Well, the Paris 2024 Olympics is becoming quite an eventful affair. There is so much going on, glitches and heartache, but also lots of enthusiasm, competition, winners and losers, and all that goes with international competition. But there is one group of athletes that's standing out and the press is taking notice, and this is American athletes. Now, I continue to say that black Americans are taught to have manners, and this Olympic season has shown that I am right. Black Americans are taught to have manners, especially our heroes and our winners. There is nothing classy about being arrogant and selfish about winning or losing. So I want to go over this to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Simone Biles, Rebecca Andretti, and Jordan Childs make history with first all-black gymnastics podium at Olympics. So these are three black gymnasts, uh, two Americans, and one from Brazil. A plethora of unforgettable moments have occurred throughout the 2024 Paris Olympics, such as Celine Dion's jaw-dropping opening ceremony performance. But it was the women's gymnastics floor final that produced a moment that was both iconic and historic. Brazil's Rebecca Andretti won the gold medal in the competition, while Team USA's Simone Biles and Jordan Childs took silver and bronze, respectively. As a result, when the winners collected their prizes, they were part of the very first all-black gymnastics podium at the Olympics game. Just want to point out that all three are descendants of the transatlantic slave trade. Making history was not lost on the trio who spoke to the press about honoring the significance of their wins. We can show the black power, Andretti said via the AP. I love myself, my skin color, she continued. The idea is it serves as an incentive. Sometimes it may be more difficult for you because of your skin color, but you can do it, and we proved it's possible. Well, all right, now you just better go, girl. Throughout the intense competition, Biles and Andretti displayed remarkable sportsmanship, consistently offering each other support and exchanging kind words, a true embodiment of the Olympic spirit. See, they're not trying to beat each other. They just, they're just, that's so great. They're encouraging each other. So that means that both of them were taught to be, to be, to be mannerable and to be kind. I, I didn't realize you had to teach that to people, but apparently you do. And just to point this out, in case y'all hadn't heard this before, there are more black people in Brazil than they are in the United States. And from Everything that's written about them, they face worse racism, much worse than we do. Ours is manageable if we want it to be. But Brazil has a whole system set up where it's almost impossible for black people to get ahead, according to them. So you have to know this girl is an outstanding athlete to break through all of that. So Rebecca won the gold. In the floor exercise, Simone won the silver after having a problem on the balance beam, and then Jordan Childs won the bronze after her coach complained that, had, that they had given her a very difficult routine to perform, apparently more difficult than some of the others. But anyway, Jordan Childs ended up winning the bronze. And this is where the beauty of it comes in. Simone Biles and Jordan Childs show respect to Rebecca Andretti in viral podium photo at Paris Olympics. 
Miles and Childs congratulated Andretti by bowing to her as she received her gold medal, her first in the Paris Olympics. Now, aren't we proud of Simone and Jordan? They weren't pouting or upset because they didn't get the gold because Simone already had seven gold medals. And Jordan has won a number of medals in numerous events. So they're not medal hungry. But they were able to show respect and congratulate Rebecca for winning the gold. I am so proud of them. Miles, who won one silver and three gold medals at the Paris Olympics, discussed her decision to bow down to Andretti at the podium with Childs. First, it was an all-black podium, so that was super exciting for us, Biles told the press. But then Jordan was like, should we bow to her? And I was like, absolutely. Biles also shared that it felt like the right thing to do to honor the life-changing moment. Despite losing out on the gold medal during women's floor final, Biles was in fantastic spirits after completing her last event. I've accomplished way more than my wildest dreams, not just at this Olympics, but in this sport, Bao said in a press conference on August 5th. So I can't be mad at my performances. A couple of years ago, I didn't think I'd be back here at an Olympic game. So competing and then walking away with four medals, I'm not mad about it. I'm pretty proud of myself. And it's always so exciting to compete. See, that's class. That's very classy. And Jordan Childs also very, very classy. Two young ladies to be very proud of. And that's not all. Shakari Richardson praises Tia Clayton after Jamaican's run to women's 100 meter final on Olympic debut at Paris 2024. Tia Clayton entered the 2024 Paris Olympics as a young sprinter with an outside chance to do something special for her country. And she headed into the women's 100 meter final as the sole Jamaican in the fray. In the women's 100 meter semifinals, Clayton came out on top in semifinal three by clocking 10.89 seconds. She beat Great Britain's Daryl Nita and American Tunisia Terry to the top spot in her semifinal. In the final on Saturday, the 19-year-old could only finish 7th with a time of 11.04 seconds on a rain-drenched track. Richardson, who won the silver medal in the event, took to social media to praise her for doing her best in her debut game. So see, that was Shakira Richardson doing the classy thing. This young lady was the only competitor from Jamaica. And she's only 19 years old, so this is her first Olympics. But she got out there and gave it her best. And she finished seventh. Next time around, she will probably do much better. So these athletes have shown themselves to be not only great athletes, but also great human beings. Winning is good, but it is not everything. And you shouldn't throw aside respect for other people and decency because you won or because you didn't win. Nobody wins all the time and nobody's supposed to win all the time because we're all given gifts and everybody's gift can't shine at the same time. So we take turns winning. That's the way it's supposed to be. There's nothing like having good sportsmanship because even when you lose, you win. So our American athletes are showing the true spirit of the Olympics and they're also showing that they have good home training. Okay, y'all, thank you for listening. And let me know what you think about the video.